In this last session of chemical reactions, I wanted to show you one last thing that the tax test typically uh, or sometimes likes to ask of students, and it trips them up. And so I want to make sure I show you this. This is called the Law of Conservation. Law of Conservation of Mass. And it's not very difficult. It's just if you don't know this concept, it can get you. Here is an equation. Take a second, pause the video, and write this equation down. All right, here's how the law of conservation of mass works. Basically, here's how it works. However much you start with is how much you're going to end up with. Except they've moved around a little bit. You'll notice Na is with Cl. It's not with Cl anymore. Mg is with O, and they're not together anymore. Let me show you an example. If they told you that you had 10 grams of this and 12 grams of this, and that 8 grams of this is made, and they want to know how many grams of this, then they, it's a very simple problem. Here's how it works. If you add these two values, because it's a plus sign, 10 plus 12 is 22 total grams. That means that this side has also got to be 22 grams. Well, if I know this is 8 grams, then how many grams is this? Well, 22 minus 8, my answer is 14 grams. It's a very, very simple question. But if you don't know the fact that this side has to equal this side, then you wouldn't know how to answer it. Let me look at a different one real quick. We'll just use the same equation. Let's say that they tell you that you have um, 9 grams of this and that you have 6.5 grams and 27.8 grams. How many grams of this do you have? Well, the same is true. Both sides have to equal each other. Since you have two numbers on this side, let's add them together. If I add these two numbers together, 27.8 and 6.5, 13 carry, 7, 6, 13, 14, 34.3. Well, that means this has to be 34.3 also. Now, the best thing about, one of the cool things about the tax test is they allow you to use a calculator. And so I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator to get the answer. So how am I going to do that? Well, 34.3 minus 9 is equal to 25.3 is my answer. You can do it long, hand over your calculator. But there's your answer. The law of conservation of mass is very, very simple. Make sure that both sides equal each other in mass. So anytime they give you a problem like this, that's how you work it. Let me show you one more example. If they told you that you had element X, and it's going to be with element Y, which is going to give you element Z plus element Q. Now, none of these are elements on the periodic table. It works exactly the same way. They told you 7 grams and 9 grams, and that this one was 4 grams, and they wanted to know the answer, well, 9 and 7 is 16 grams. This side has to equal 16 grams. 16 minus 4, 12 grams is the answer you would look for. Law of conservation of mass is very, very simple to do, um, so I'm not going to even have you do some of these on your own, but I bet from the explanation we've gone through, you can come up with law of conservation of mass, a very simple mathematical equation dealing with chemical reactions.